Hi and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be talking about access to work in the UK which allows you if you've got a disability or you've got some kind of long-term health issue to get things like free MacBook Pros, ergonomic chairs and various other different solutions that will help get you into work and keep you in work. Now you can apply for this if you're in the UK and you are employed, self-employed, if you have an LTD company or if you have a community interest company. And you could apply for this for yourself or you could apply for it for your staff and volunteers. So before I jump into that, please hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I talk about everything to do with community interest companies and social enterprises and various different things about and grants that you can get. So let me tell you about access to work. So I have received access to work. I have dyslexia and I also have a curved spine, so I get some backache. So what I received is this, um, MacBook Pro uh, because um, it's got on it uh, things like uh, voice recording, uh, reading back text, stuff like that. So it's got some features on it that help people with dyslexia. And of course I can take this anywhere, I can take it into meetings, I can work at home and in the office. So they paid for this. It can't be my only computer, so I have another computer because obviously um, as a self-employed person or as if you were employed and if you were employee, um, of course, you know, you're supposed to obviously make sure you have your own computer. Um, but this is an additional computer that they will fund. They also gave me a very expensive ergonomic chair, which I think was around £600 I have in the office. And that's really helped with my back. Now, I also applied for this because as my community interest company employs people with disabilities, always has done. So many of my staff have and my directors have various different disabilities, ranging from back problems, mental health issues, various other health conditions. So my director, for example, she has got a severe uh, back problem. So she got one of these so she could work on the sofa um, in different positions because she can't always sit at a desk. She also got a very expensive chair that was like a hydraulics chair. Um, and that was around like 4,000 pounds or something crazy like that. Um, so it was a very expensive chair. And you know, the, obviously the laptops are quite expensive as well. Um, so she was able to get those. Um, I also had another employee who has got sight issues. So they got him one of these and they also got him a screen so he could plug this in. And so he had like a larger screen with it. So that's just an example of some of the things that you can get um, with access to work. And as I said before, it doesn't matter what you're earning, um, it, there is no you know, pay limit on it, but it is important that of course your employer, um, even if that's yourself, um, obviously makes reasonable adjustments. So like I said, you have to have your own computer already. If it's just small things, then of course, you, know, you should be paying for those yourself or those are just standard things in your business. So access to work is more about sort of the bigger things, the expensive things and the extra things that you can get um, money for. So when you apply, you usually have to buy the things up front and then they send you the money and reimburse it. So you do have to have the money um, to pay for the items, uh, but you do then get reimbursed. So how do you go about applying? Okay, so this is important because this could trip you up. You don't just phone up and say, can I have a free laptop please? because you've seen this video. That's obviously not how it works. And if you do that, they'll literally just laugh you off the call. So they're not gonna be, you can't do it like that. So what you need to do is you need to phone up and say, I need to book an assessment for access to work. I've got a disability or I've got dyslexia or whatever it is that you're suffering. You explain that and say, you know, I'm employed or I'm self-employed or whatever. Um, and you know, obviously I've got some things for work, but you know, I want to get this assessment to see if there's anything extra that, I can, that I'm entitled to. So by doing that, you're just getting the ball rolling. So you don't go in there with a wish list of I want this and that. Um, you actually just book the assessment, okay? You don't mention what you want, you just book the assessment. So you book the assessment and a person will come out to you and they will sit down with you, usually in your place of work. And they'll do things like they'll look at your desk They'll look at, um, obviously they'll talk to you about what your disability or health condition is, how that affects you, what you're struggling with, and they'll ask you a whole bunch of questions um, and they'll do that assessment. Now, you don't need to prove anything. So you don't need to prove you've got dyslexia. Um, you know, I didn't have to show any evidence for that. And I had other, my other employees who said they were dyslexic, you know, they are dyslexic, but they've never actually had a formal diagnosis. Lots of people haven't. Um, but obviously you'll just explain your life history of how you know, it affected you with your education and et cetera, et cetera. So they'll do that in the assessment. They'll kind of assess whether they think that that's true. So don't contact doctors or anything like that. So 
they'll do the assessment and then they'll make some recommendations. And then, so they'll let them uh, say what you're entitled to and what they think you should have. Now, there used to be a thing called Dragon. Now, many of you with dyslexia and stuff will remember this if you were qualified for it in university or maybe in another job. And it was this really expensive dyslexia software that read stuff back to you and, you know, typed for you and stuff like that. That's all really outdated now. It was really expensive, but it was it's totally outdated because basically phones and the modern day laptops do that now. So if they try to um, suggest that, you know, that you have this sort of old fashioned software, what you do is you email back and you negotiate and you say, well, actually, this is a better solution and it's cheaper for you if you just give me, um, you know, buy me this um, you know, MacBook Pro. Also, um, a lot of the Apple devices as well have the same features. So you find something that's got the features of reading text to you and writing text out when you speak to it. So uh, those are the features that, you know, are really helpful for people with a range of disabilities and things like dyslexia, etc. So once you've um, said, you know, look, I've, you know, I've seen this, uh, you email that back and say, that's what you want. Um, again, you, just, you can negotiate if it's a different chair or you've got a different idea of another solution. At that point, you negotiate and you, you, know, you work out between you and them uh, what, you're, you know, what they're prepared to fund um, and what will help um, with your disability. And that's really it. So then they, like I said, they sign it off and they get it over to you. Uh, it doesn't affect your taxes. It doesn't affect you if you're claiming any kind of benefits. Um, so don't have to worry about any of that. You don't ever have to pay it back. And um, although I haven't done this myself because mine's still going, assumingly when this goes in the next few years, I should be able to do it again um, and get another and start the ball rolling and go for it again. So you can have it again in the future. So it's a great opportunity to get extra help for you and your staff. Um, to get extra help for disabilities and long-term health issues. And it's also a great way just to get extra equipment. So obviously having an extra laptop, you know, it's just one less thing that I have to buy in, in my business. So that was really useful. So I hope that video helped. If it did, please hit the like and also subscribe to the channel.